Are you guys ready to start? Yeah. Hi, and welcome to the Fantasy Impact. <laughs> I'm Kyle McMurphy. This is my brother Todd McMurphy, and here's Sean Quaddy. I'm the Todd, and this is T Bone, and that's Q Tab. <laughs> Cut that. Cue him up. We spend so much time on fantasy baseball. Play a little who would you rather? How is If that man grows a mustache, he's winning the MVP. Just... <laughs> so, well, tell me what you're saying. Uh, who would win in the fight, Mark Teixeira? Right now. Right now. Right right more home runs next year, A Rod or Mark Teixeira? No. Mark Teixeira. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Hi, and welcome back to Fantasy Impact. I am John Q. Public. This is The Cause, and this is our good Dr. T. All right, without further ado, we're going to get right into the third baseman. Let's do it. Basically, we've got a few tiers here, and we're going to start off with tier number one. Uh, Clear-cut favorite is Alex Rodriguez. He's, you know, top three talent. Uh, next, we're going to go with uh, Evan Longoria and David Wright. Those guys round out tier one. And I think if you get any of them, you're ecstatic, especially Actually, because third base is so shallow this year. You get one of those guys, and you're sitting pretty, sitting pretty for the entire draft. Uh, tier number two, we've got my man Ryan Zimmerman here. Kevin Euclid, Pablo Sandoval, and Mark Reynolds. Uh, if you didn't grab somebody in the top tier, make sure to grab one of these guys, because after that, you've got question marks. I'm not saying you can't get a good player. You've got a lot of question marks. It kind of drops off the cliff. So tier three, Aramis Ramirez, you know, solid veteran. Sean Figgins, unorthodox numbers, but still productive. And uh, you've got Gordon Beckham, who is the hotshot rookie that everyone loves this year. Big question mark. Now, I have to mention three guys on the cusp that almost made the top 10. Uh, Adrian Beltre, Chipper Jones, and Michael Young. Now, Absolutely. they also they also could have a better year than some of the guys in Tier Three. All right, so that's our uh, basis. Now we're going to go to a little game we like to call Tier Up, Tier Down, or Up and Downs. Oh, yeah. Don't you know the difference between up and down? Sure. I don't think you do. No. But I know something that might help you. Well, I know a song all about up and down. Music. <laughs> Oh, I look up and see a birdie flying high and free. Oh, I look down and then the sidewalk is what I see. I look up and see the sky. I look down and see the ground. I look at you and sing a song about up and down. Essentially, what we're gonna what we're gonna do is one of these guys is going up, one of these guys is going down. Uh, going up, Adrian Beltre. Right. Potentially. Potentially. Let's talk, Adrian. I don't think it's a potential thing. I think it's a guaranteed thing. Oh, and here's why. Yeah. Adrian Beltre, 7 out of ten, the past 10 season, he's hit 20-plus home runs. And let's not forget about this season, he hit 48 home runs. He is hitting in a potent lineup at Fenway. He's hitting around Uke. He's Petroya. Like, I think there are things there that are just going to make him see better pitches, hit the long ball. I like that a lot. He's also posted an above 300 on base percentage, and we know the Red Sox love that. I think he's going to be on base, getting runs. I think that's going to happen a lot. Um, last year was an injury. That's where the risk comes in. But I also think that... Yeah, injury, though. Yeah. I think the testicles is an than important than part, part of the anatomy. Sort of. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that thing hangs off like elephant tires. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's an awkward. That's a point. Not good. Not good. That's the only bag. That's that. why I like, I think Adrian goes up. I think he gets, you know, not Beckham. I do love Beckham a lot. But, I, you know, I think Adrian Beltre, if you're missing those Adrian guys. Adrian Beltre has less questions on the That's I, I got to say yeah. that. All right. Over under 25 home runs for Adrian Beltre. I'm saying over. Say over. Look over under 30. Under. Under. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on. Tear down. Uh, this guy could down. potentially fall off. And uh, it's our man Sean Figgins. I love him. He helped me win a title last year. And I actually know that the good doctor loves Sean Figgins. Was, yeah, this was difficult. This was a uh, this was a difficult downtrend yeah. for me to actually support. But I do have to tell you. <laughs> um, he actually won. His average draft pick is right around 73 right now in most leagues. So he's not, he's not right up there, but we've got him in the third tier anyway. So... But the good news is that he hits 114 home runs. This is not the highest that he hit. 114 runs. Right. 114 runs. Okay. Yeah, not home runs. I would yeah, only five <laughs> yeah, might take him <laughs> above someone like uh, Armis Ramirez. <laughs> Regardless, five home runs, 54 RBIs. He hit 298 last year. He had a 395 OVP. All good numbers. The problem is that he's moving. Right. He's officially gone to Seattle. The good news is, is that they're thinking about 
shifting in between second and third, so you could get some you could get something there. But the problem is, is in you've seen his stolen bases decrease from 62 and 05 with 115 runs down to 34 and 08. He had a bounce back last year. He came up to 42. I'm not expecting 42 oh, again. Yeah, he kind of jumps around, but sadly in a downward trend. He had a hamstring injury last year. We're hoping that he's fully recovered from it. Spring training says that he's doing well. I'm expecting him to run. I'm not. I'm not expecting any more than 35 to 40 stolen bases, okay. and uh, certainly 62 is in the past. You have to get. Past and the that. other thing about those uh, the stats is coming with third baseman. You know that's a position where usually power is. What that's there for, right? Exactly. So, yeah, you can win with Figgins as your third baseman, but you've got to have you some got to power, power somewhere. somewhere. Right. Think about Robinson for now. What if Dustin Pedroia is off the board? Clearly. All right. So now we're going to <laughs> now we're moving on I to mean, a segment we kindly call a uh, man crush segment. Ooh la la! And uh, it's for all those sexy fantasy players out there. I'm going to start us off with uh, my man crush on Ryan Zimmerman. Uh, the kid batted 292, 33 home runs, 106 RBIs, 110 runs, and he threw in two bags. And the reason I call him a kid is he's 25 years old. He hasn't even hit the Magic 27 yet. He has so much potential that I think next year we're going to be talking about him in the in tier one. And also on awesome. the launch of the Nationals. Yeah, I, my man crush is <laughs> Gordon Beckham. I love Gordon Beckham. I think it has a lot to do with getting him on my team off the waivers last year and him really propelling me into a, a good position in the league. But at the same time, he hit 58 runs, 14 home runs, 63 RBIs, 7 bags, and... Um, batted 270. I think in the minors he was batting more around 300, 310, so I think we're going to see his average go up closer to 290, which I like that a lot. He's not going to necessarily get you the 25 home runs, but I do think he's going to hit around 20 home runs. And again, that's what I want from a third baseman. And he's that one guy that I think I'd rather have over Figgins, or maybe over an Artemis, because he's going up, and he's nasty, and I, I like the White Sox too. So a whole bunch of potential. He does. Man crush. My man crush is a fairly obvious one. I am huge on Evan Longoria, and actually so huge in such a way that, honestly, if I had picks probably 8 through 10, 8 through 12, I would, I would think about taking him above the elite first baseman. Mm -hmm. That's how much I like him. Um, especially because I can turn around late and hopefully pick up one of the first or second tier first basemen. You can check that out on our first baseman. Um, heck yeah. <laughs> also, Evan Longoria is still young. He went. To, he had 27 home runs two years ago. He went up to 33 home runs. He's never been caught stealing a bag, although I don't expect him to steal 20 bags or anything along those lines. It is impressive regardless. Um, yeah, Evan Longoria. I love Evan Longoria. Longoria. Okay. And I love his lineup again this year after the sophomore slump. Expect Tampa to have a lot of speed in Tampa. He's got a lot of, lot of, uh, got a lot of help potential there. For our so I actually have the number six overall pick, and I'm thinking about taking Longoria. That's how yeah. much I love him. I have the number four overall pick, and I'm not thinking about taking him. Oh, all right. Well, if you're looking at Longoria and Wright, real quick, what would answer? I take Wright. Longoria. I'm going to break the tie with Longoria. I think there you have it. Those are the third base. Take long, man. We'll let you down. Know. See you next time. All right, awesome.